does. Beg pardon, Comrade Wooster, some persons to see you. Oh, Comrade Wooster, we've heard many stories of your exploits in the fight against capitalism. Who are these people, Bertie? Uh, well, the bingo little, you know. Do I? And this, I take it, is Mr. Robottom. Pleased to make your acquaintance, comrades. This is my daughter, Comrade Charlotte, and he's Comrade Butt. But what? <laughs> <laughs> Comrade Butt yearns for the revolution, just like you do. Comrade Worcester never yearned for anything in his life except a stone-dead cert at 100 to 1. Oh, you will have your little joke, Comrade Dahlia. <laughs> I think I'd better go. Right, right. <clears throat> I don't know what you're up to just now, Bertie, but I shall expect you at Marsham Manor tomorrow. Oh, by the way, when you get there, I've got a little something I want you to do for me. What sort of little something? I'll tell you when you get there. Just a little something to help Auntie. You'll enjoy it. Toodaloo, comrades. Lovely ham, Pop. Ham, muffins, eggs, all wrung from the bleeding lips of the starving poor. Oh, I say, please. I wonder the food doesn't turn to ashes in our mouths. Another sardine, Comrade Bud? Very well, but only to express solidarity with our Portuguese brothers. And why aren't you sitting down, Comrade Jeeves? The history of the revolution, Comrade Butt, is the history of putting food on the plates of the proletariat. Well said, well said, Comrade Jeeves. Never mind about well said, Comrade Robottom. He's behaving like a servant. A servant? No, 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 no. No, we, uh, we take it in turns, you see. Uh, one day I'll do the chores, and then the next day, Comrade Jeeves. Uh, it's Comrade Jeeves' day today, isn't it, old pal? Yeah, indeed it is, Comrade Sir. Um, old pal chum. <clears throat> well, why don't you sit down, Comrade Jeeves, and I'll take over for a bit, show Comrade Butt how it all works. Very good, Comrade. Now, who'd like some more tea? I think you'll find it needs some more hot water, Comrade. Hot water? Right, yes. From the kettle, Comrade Worcester, of course. Naturally, Comrade Jeeves. Uh, yes, right, well, um, no sooner said than what's it. <laughs> I'll send you some literature on the subject of the cause, Comrade Jeeves. <laughs> Perhaps we shall see you at one of our little meetings. Perhaps indeed, Comrade Robottom. I don't know what you've been doing to the cooker, Comrade Jeeves, but I don't seem to be able to get the gas lit. <coughs> it's electric, sir. Oh. There's something very fishy about these so-called friends of yours, Comrade Little. Oh, you're always suspicious of everything, Charlie Butt. I am not. But look around you. Is this the dwelling of a worker? Full-blown bourgeois decadence. That's what I call it. Go grub, though. Yeah, soon have the old hot water. Uh, we had a new cooker installed yesterday. I haven't quite got the hang of it. Uh, electric, you know. Yeah. I can't quite recall, Comrade Worcester. What was it Comrade Stalin said about socialism in that respect? Comrade, I think Comrade Butt is probably referring to Comrade Stalin's report to the Congress of Soviets in December 1920, in which he said that socialism was Soviet power plus the electrification of the whole country. Oh. Well, I must say, Jeeves, I thought you did awfully well. Where did you learn all that stuff about the revolution? It is as well to know exactly what tunes the devil is playing, sir. <laughs> now then, what about Charlotte Robottom? I prefer not to express an opinion, sir. Jeez, Bingo is in love with that female. So I gather, sir, she was slapping him in the corridor. Slapping him? Yes, sir. Roguishly. Oh, Lord. Didn't realise it had quite got that far. How was Comrade Butt taking it? He struck me as extremely jealous, sir. Jeeves, this is a bit thick. Very much so, sir. Hmm. Pip-pip. <laughs> <laughs> 